Hi, so let's do another remote view for 8th of December. For the two years that this movie has been playing out, it's actually been like 10 years. We have fast forwarded it for you. For you think that it is hard for some, it has been. But the more you step out of the play of the matrix, then you will untangle yourself. It's all to do with your own confidence and whether you want to be a slave to the system. For many that have not disconnected yet, but it is half of this and half of not this. It is not the 90% that they say here in New Zealand. Pretty much all around the world. The numbers have been fudged. It is pretty much half and half in New Zealand. So when we stand up, when we all can collapse a whole system. So feel empowered now. Feel confident. Feel in charge and have that pure knowing. We have got this. For many already in a few days of the traffic light system that has been bestowed upon us here in New Zealand, many businesses are really suffering. So do you believe that they will keep going? No. Because it is hurting them in the back pocket. This is another way, form of waking people up. For the ones that are awake, we know what's happening. It is another cycle and the AI programming for the sleepers. For when it hurts them in their back pocket, it is only then that they will back down. This will slowly start waking up people. Otherwise, they will carry on and stay in the matrix until it affects them. As soon as they are directly affected, the world gets rocked. You will find that they will stand up and realize something is wrong, that this is not right. This is sometimes what it takes is how many people do you know that only take it as they were going to lose their job. And I mean that. They took money over their own health as they did not know how they would survive. They tried to look into other options, but were obviously unsuccessful. When they realize that they have to take the booster shot every three months, and if they don't, they are back in the same camp as us. This has been another trigger for them to start realizing this is wrong as only a quarter of them will go running for the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth. And it continues. That's if they're still with us, as just the booster rolling out is waking up people. They're realizing, they're already realizing, hang on a minute, I'm back in the same camp as the ones that never left. So it's becoming more apparent that we're getting more starting to awaken and questioning. So slowly work with them. They are the butterflies that are slowly emerging. They are in the chrysalis slowly coming out. So be gentle and guide them through it. You know what you were like when you woke up. It was um, to what was really going on. Keep it simple, keep it to the basics. But also, Mother Earth is also assisting in waking others up by raising the frequency of the planet. You may have noticed, as in the last couple of days, the high vibration of 5D frequency of the Schumann Residence has lifted as it came through very strong on the 6th of December. It was a power punch that came in from nowhere with a positive high vibration. You may have noticed you experienced an incredible sense of energy 
while others would have experienced, they got wiped out as much of their body is needing the cleansing and clearing. As you have to remember, it is just not this lifetime. It's many lifetimes that the body is clearing out. How are you meant to merge into the fourth or the fifth if you're carrying on so much of your heavy energies in your backpack? Even the wounds of many lifetimes, they never release them. As they came into this lifetime with a huge backpack, placing more burden on themselves. And little do they know what is causing so many problems they don't even relate to any of them. For an example, they can't handle wearing anything around their neck. They can relate in a past lifetime, as back then, it was, a, this is what I've found with many clients, is when I go to put my hands on their neck, they go, oh, no, 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 I can't. And so I'll tune in, and sure enough, they've either been hung or whatever. So I actually go back and just clear that energy for them, and then they allow me to put my hands there. It's really amazing. You now are slowly releasing many layers of yourself along with this lifetime. As an old soul, you have carried many memories in your backpack. With the human resonance, it is allowing you to shift and clear old stuck energies that no longer serve you. Many people don't know how to clear off this negative old stuck emotions, especially when you are constantly tired and exhausted. So Mother Earth helps you out by subtly pumping up the energy through to the planet so you don't feel like doing anything apart from crashing on the couch to rest. This is when the higher 5D frequencies that are coming through the planet get to assist you while you rest. As many layers are cleansed and cleared off you while you feel like something is terribly wrong. Then shortly after, you start picking yourself back up. After a good night's sleep, you start feeling different. This can go on for a couple of days in this cycle as you release your old baggage. This is all part of your journey on releasing and clearing and uplifting to connect into the higher vibration of Mother Earth and Father Son. We are all part of the universe as we are all collectively connected to Source. As I am talking about the vibration of where I am right now is lifting. From there, they are now taking me further out. And I'm getting greeted as they present to me a chair for me to take a seat in, and off we go. The confirmation is things are definitely happening out there. As I leave our old world of the heavy, dense energy, I go out into this clear crystal vibration as of a higher frequency. I can't get over the smell of freedom. You notice when it happens that there is a higher energy frequency that you feel, through, feel throughout your body. It's amazing. It's like you're having a cleansing of your soul and your whole vibration lifts. I'm now feeling like I'm going through a scan. I was standing there and I noticed there was a, um, a capsule that I was standing in. And it was a yeah, full length capsule. But scanning my body and I'm standing in the capsule. They're just making sure my body is of a higher frequency to be taken to the next level. It reminds me of a med bed, but it's vertical. And it honestly feels like it's scanning and healing me at the same time. Then off we go. And as I arrive, this place is humming. So much activity. So many people were here. A lot of off-worlders. As I don't recognize them. One of them just turned around and looked over at me as they knew me. And they seemed to know 
when I come. I have to say, though, I feel like I know I've got a position out here too, as I naturally slot in. I already know on another level what I am meant to do here. I inwardly think, what the hell, Karen? How is this even possible? But just go with the flow. And don't question anything because at the end of the day, what is real and not real anymore? I then walked over to my seat. I too have got work to do out there. I'm looking on my computer screen. It was, a, it was actually, yeah, it was a screen. I remember the chair and the screen was sort of tilted, but it was tilted more out than at this way. I remember looking at that. And I'm looking at my computer screen, checking to see if I've got my to-do list. There were 10 things I had to achieve. I'm on my ninth. There's some other little requests that will be put aside and these as well, which they had added. It was like on the 10th one that has to be completed, there was just some little offshoots just to check off as well. The second in charge or the first in charge, who knows, actually came up to me and said, good job, we're on track. As I looked out the window, I looked out at the galaxies and the incredible vast space out there to what we live in on our planet. Planet Earth is only a speck of what our reality can be. We have been limited on our thoughts. We have been limited on so many aspects of our life. The possibilities of where the human race can go, it's going to be unlimitless for all. The technologies have been far and wide and been going for many years. I'm looking at the array of the techno technology that is in front of us, which it has not reached planet Earth yet. They're in the ether, so it's coming. It's coming though. Bit by bit, there is going to be more and more technology that will enhance our world because the technology that is on our planet now has destroyed us. It's harmed thousands. It is not technology. It's been designed for the greed of the 1%. As the technology that we had here on Earth, planet Earth, will be destroyed and deleted for all will be replaced and upgraded. For the healing technology for the body, this will be the most important part of what is needed at this time. It will be rolled out very soon in the new year. The weakest will be the first to experience it. The doctors and the nurses that have all been set up will be rewarded with the technologies that will come through. They will also be working with the off-worlders. People will be also able to participate in the smaller technologies for themselves to keep them at bay till they can have the treatments on the beds. There is many technologies right down to pills that can heal. None of the ingredients of what we have here on the planet, e.g. vitamins, are as pure as the quality of the higher source ever to be put in the tablet of the new technology. It can turn a person around just like that or assist them till the next transition of the beds. All these tablets are already in production, whether it be a tablet or injection form, there is a turnaround. For all that you have wrong with your body has been imposed upon you, you need to give yourself gratitude for being still here. For you will get through this. Your determination and the love of your family and for the next transition in your journey. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of who you are. Because as I look at my list, there is only one more to complete. Along with some minor ones from there. As I look over at the captain, as everything is in alignment. And everything is on track. There are so many levels to all the helpers, 
that are assisting in the cleansing and uplifting and the rescuing of our planet. We have our ancestors and our indigenous people, the vibration of their voice, their song, has kept the vibration of the land alive, as it is what has kept the frequency going and the heartbeat of Gaia. For the ones that have connected to the land have nurtured her. For the intuitive ones that have awoken themselves, heard her calling them. As you are extremely special, your frequency is of a higher source. You have awoken at the right time, divine time. There are so many rewards for everyone. No one misses out. For the evolution of the human soul is a lifetime. For the non-humans, they have done wrong. They have done wrong to the humans and to this planet. Will get the wrath tenfold upon them for what they have done. So let go of your shackles off around your wrist and your ankles as we give you the key to free yourself to let go. You are free now. You just need to step out of your mind's eye of the entrapment of the illusion that you were in there. There are many ships out there. There are many off-worlders as they come in now to help assist us and the skies are full. They cannot show themselves yet but many have already connected and have seen them. As there are many ships, you can feel it in the night sky. You can feel it in the heartbeat of the land, the change up. We've come so far. The vibration of pure love and the calling to the universe has gone out far and wide to the galaxies of all the many planets and the life forms of her out there. They have heard the SOS from our people of the land and it has traveled so far. So be proud that you are standing and letting go of the daggers that have been thrown at you. Shift them out of your back for you stand as your true sovereign soul as a warrior of saving the planet. For the ones that have hurt you, they will realize soon. For as we welcome the new age of energy into this planet, as that is what is happening at the moment, the frequency is lifting, the vibration is lifting, and hence your body is doing what it's doing at the moment. So be kind to yourself, be kind to your mind, your body, your soul, as we lift higher. Remember, we are transitioning into the new frequency of the new world. How can you do that? You come inside yourself. Become so peaceful. Allow your life to become simple and untangle yourself from the commercial environment that has kept you trapped. For your soul was not meant to be there. Your soul is to be set free. Allow yourself to feel the freedom that you create. For all your dreams and desires is living in a small, simpler life. Untangle yourself and you can have this. Everybody can. You just have to walk, work a way of letting go. When you let go and untangle yourself from your own financial burdens, you will feel empowered. And when you, a soul empowers itself, your inner self will be exceptional. You will feel for when you light yourself up with inside your soul, you become brighter. As you are the star in the sky, beaming your light so bright for others to see. So feel empowered, feel amazing as we totally have got this. There are so many helpers now that are coming in close to the planet. You will feel it. You'll feel the change. You'll feel the connection. We are totally living in two worlds. And the more you put in to lift in your own frequency to help others connect, you'll see more and more and more wake up. But we also will lose many. 
but it is their journey. So pack up your bags of your knowing and find it in your heart to walk alone if you need to. For you all seek your tribe of unity and you will pros prosper. The children are awake as they are starting to connect in as well. The animals are also enhancing themselves, so allow them to feel free. The time is getting close, and as we cannot give you a date to be exact, it is dependent on yourselves. When we stand our ground, when we walk to the end, it is now for all to come collectively to connect. It is when you find the heart, the love, and the inspiration of pure love. Then, and only then, you feel the shift with inside yourself. It is so empowering. Feel the energy and lift your vibration higher and higher and higher because this is all about connecting into that higher frequency as so many other parts of the world would dismantle its inevitable. They are showing themselves up and you don't even connect to them and you feel the energies of the ones that are not of pure hearts. They literally are showing themselves because the frequency of what they resonate on. It just makes you feel sick to your stomach. Right down to when they speak. It reminds you of when someone scratches their nails down the blackboard. The screeching sound. A frequency of noise that is from a lower energy source. The souls of pure light and the pure heart stand out to you. Their whole frequency just beams out. Just know they are free and they are guiding you. Feel their love that they beam and it will naturally happen for you. As you untangle yourselves now, everyone's had to have a journey on this path at this time as we have had many lifetimes separately or together. But we have endured pure pain, disharmony and disconnection alone. But from here on in, we are going to have the most magnificent experience of our eternity of our own lives. It is worth the wait. It is worth the weight in gold, especially now that the doors will be open and we will just merge through. There is no right or wrong way. It is just to follow your heart. Seek it in your heart as we have got this. Nothing holds us back now. The unity of pure love of what we seek is right in front of us. And we are on the path of eternal love to blossom over all of us. So breathe in the energy. Breathe in that frequency. Because when you connect to it, you know you're on the right path. Don't sway. Don't feel the fear. Don't feel the anxiety and just have that pure knowing. You've got this. You have and you have found it. So nurture it, cradle it, experience it, enhance it. Beam out their pure light into the universe and connect yourself in. We have got this with your support. You will support you right through this transition. We love you. And it's so close now that you can just about touch it. As a reminder from my last video, I mentioned that I could see all the money above us. It's about, at the time, it was a meter away. Well, from yesterday, I can confirm it's an arm reach. It's not even an arm reach. It's just above us now. All I can see is all these dollars, bills above us. It's insane. The amount of money that is there. All I can see is these dollar bills. So this has happened within a week in that distance shift. So it will be an amazing to see what happens next week to where it will be placed. I literally feel like I can pluck it out of the air. It's that close. This is the quantum financial system where people will not only be financially free, they will be assisted in many ways. I would be amazed that it's not here before December is out. 
So walk around knowing that things are going to shift around for you and live life as you have already received it and visualize it is already in your world. I just wanted to check. I wrote something down before. I wrote down, ignorance is bliss and noticing the planet is changing. It's time to really shift up. In your spiritual self. It is not the, just the practical side. As many have not turned the side of themselves on. It's a new paradigm that is shifting. The matrix is totally collapsing. So keep your vibes high. As our energy of ourselves is incredibly powerful now. To take our planet back. It was really positive and I can, yeah, I know I keep saying it, but it's not a, an actual date that's just sitting there. We've got the energy of where we're going, but it's up to us to bring ourselves to that date. So you can't expect us to get from here to there. We collectively come together and we make it happen to get there, okay? Nobody's coming in with the white and shining horse and, and dragging us there. No, we actually have to save ourselves. And that's so important. You get out there. You make a difference. Even when you're not at a rally, sit. Collectively connect in and send so much love from your heart out to the universe because it collectively adds up. Keep your mind pure. Keep it away from listening to all the horrible yuck stuff that keeps coming around, circulating. Keep off the media. Keep off the radio. Listen to positive, positive mindset, pods, music. Connect to nature because you have to keep climbing is the only way. And even if you are feeling a little bit flat, it's only because of the energy and it will pass. But it's given your body time to heal and release and cleanse and clear. I love you. And you have totally got this. And you have come so far to get this far already. Keep going. Keep going. We are so close now. Like and share if you feel somebody else would benefit from this. And when you push the like, it goes out into the algorithms so others can see it as well. So thank you so much. Click the notification bell so you'll know when my next video is on. Love you.